everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm sharing a um, journal that I created for um, a swap over on junk Journal Junkies. It's a use your stash swap and this is my first um, time participating in a um, group swap like this. So I'm really nervous but I'm very excited to, um, to finally have found the time to commit to something like that. That's why I've, I've hesitated on doing it because you guys know I've been moving around a lot. Um, so as I said, it's a use my stash. Uh, use my stash. Um, my theme is roses and lace. I hope that that's obvious um, when you start to see the inside of the journal. And uh, you you could you ha you could use two sig one or two signatures. I opted to use two um, with a total of forty pages. Um, and my journal has come out to be about five and three quarters by eight and a half. And um, let's see, so it was made using a file folder and then I had all these laces in my stash. Most are vintage, but there's a few on here that aren't. Um, this is some scrapbook paper I had left over from a recent project, um, a little metal book plate, and then this is some really, really old um, lace, and I, I just collaged. I really love how this cover's come out. I gotta say, I'm so thrilled with the um, the result of this one. I may make myself one because I absolutely love how this has come out with the layering. Um, and I like these chunkier um, closures, so um, this is probably what I'm going to be leaning towards um, going forward with my journals because I I really like them. They're sewn in. They're they're really sturdy. Um, I just I really am pleased with how it's come out. I hope my partner's going to like it. Um, so here we go in the front. Um, we were told not to overfill it, so I hope that mine's, you know, I've got I got enough of interest, but not to be too full. Um, just some more collaging, lots of scrap, uh, papers. I like doing this with them. They look, they remind me of patchwork quilts, and I love quilts. Um, if I had the room, that's something I would definitely be a collector of. I used to, but um, over the years I've had to downsize so much. Um, I've only got probably four or five left. Um, this is a little booklet I created. Um, this is some old trim here and lots of little bitty tags. You guys know I love that. I love my I love to do my stamping and this is um, some rose paper that I had so I've made a couple of little tags to go up in there and then here is just a little notebook with some little lace stitch to it. So that's been tucked in the front. I apologize for my hands, guys. I get so self-conscious coming on here because in the winter, my uh, I really have a tr trouble with my hands being so dry and splitting, but um, I've tried everything for them and working with the paper isn't helping. So I apologize, um, my hands look dreadful. Um, the only thing that seems to cure it, which is crazy, is if I have uh, I have a manicure, and I, I just haven't haven't had the chance to do that. But um, okay, so here this is um, recently I purchased some of these little postcards. They're floral postcards, and I am crazy about these. So my theme being the. Um, Lace and roses, I had to include the rose. It, it, they're just so pretty. I, I, I love these. I'm really glad I ran across those cards. Here's just some paper I had left over. This is just a couple of little um, playing cards. had my stash. This is a, a doily that's been dissected and made into a pocket. Some stamping up here. Um, here I've done a little flip up and with another rose and uh, this just been stitched down and then behind you've got a little pocket here. 
um, just time sheet that I had um, run through the printer and so I had that left over and thought I'd put that in. Here's another little rose tag. This is some old uh, notebook paper that I had, so I've stuck that in. Here is a um, vellum pocket. It's been all stitched in. And just another little <coughs> excuse me, journaling card I had in my stash. So here, um, this is a Primrose uh, garden card. I thought I'd stick that in and then hopefully the recipient can either use it in this one or incorporate it into some future journals. Um, did some embossing on this and made a little pocket. This is some of my, um, it's the Tim Holtz wallpaper selection, so I've just stitched that on uh, so there's room to put some things there. Some Edith Holden paper and this was some old uh, garden book page I found. Um, here is a um, handmade tag. Um, this was a die I've got in my stash. Well, I don't have it anymore, I don't think. This was a Stampin' Up! one, so I did some trims and lots of die cuts behind it. So I've stuck that in there. And then here is just an old book page pocket. And it's got some rows in the... Um, in the print, so I've stuck that in. And here's just another, this is a bit of um, tracing, uh, yeah, tracing paper I've stitched on and then put some trim there so you could do some journaling on the back of that. Um, this is an old uh, doily. Uh, here I've done a belly band, um, did some stitching there, and then this is an old um, index card that I've picked up at a flea market a while back, so I did some decoupage on here and tucked that in. Here is a pocket and then it also flips up and there's some uh, buttons I've sewn on there and some crocheted trim and then the um, rose background. Here's just a um, fabric pocket, and then I did some decoupage here on a um, one of the big playing cards. Some more book page. This is the back of the Edith Holden, and then this another little pocket. Um, yeah, I can't remember where these uh, papers are. It just anything I have left over, I tend to shove into a. Um, a binder and then you know use it up in projects like this so that worked out really nice but I don't remember um, which collections those are from. Here's just a little um, time card that I cut down into a little mini Rolodex card. And here's a tuck spot I've created Got some old buttons that have been attached there and some die cuts that I've stamped and cut out. This is the second signature. Here I've created another little note <coughs> pad so you could do some writing there and just a tiny little tag in there. And then this one, just a little circle tag with a rose. And I've stamped beautiful there. And then this has just been uh, run through the embossing uh, machine, so you've got a really nice texture on that. I love this page, and I thought it went nicely. This is some um, avocado skin dyed paper, and I've just stamped, or sorry, uh, punched with a Martha Stewart. Um, actually, it's not, that is a Martha Stewart punch, yeah. I've only got one of her punches. Um, I'm not a fan of Martha Stewart's punches. I tend to go for the easy success. I think they're... I find them much easier to work with, but this one, I love that. And Martha Stewart seems to be the only one that does the ones with the florals. So here's just a flip up, but obviously the roses. And then I did some stamping up here with, these are little roses. This is just a um, greeting card I had in my stash, and I thought it really 
was pretty, so I stuck that in. And then uh, I've got a, a baggie so you can, a little pocket there. Here's a uh, pocket I've created out of a um, flower page, and this is rose, so I've stuck that. And then this was just a little um, envelope and a note card. It's not been glued, so you can glue that or just keep it as it is for more journaling inside that. Yeah, it was really fun doing this. Um, because I didn't realize how much um, I am drawn to roses, evidently, because I had no problem whatsoever finding enough stuff to fill this. Um, if anything, I, I had to slow down because, um, you know, I went not to overfill it, and I, was, I did worry that I might do that. Now, this paper, I know this is Genevieve's, and if you've not ever bought her papers, they are fantastic. Um, I printed this out on some, I think this must be about 30 pound weight cardstock, but they are beautiful uh, background papers, so do check her out. Just another little journal card that was in the scrap. Um, another fabric pocket that I've collaged and put some old doily on there. And then I just made some little flips out of some leftover uh, coffee dyed paper. Here's one of the Tim Holtz uh, dies, and I've just tucked another little journal card behind there. And then you, these have little places you can put <coughs> some little tags, or if you have a printer that does the tiny photos, that would be perfect for that. This is the center of that second signature. I love that paper. Rose again. I hope I've left uh, plenty of space for them to, to add their own um, embellishments to this in journal. This is a double pocket with vellum that's been all sewn around. Uh, more of that pa paper from Genevieve's. And then here is a tuck spot. And then I stitched it so that you could have some additional writing here. And that just tucks back down. That's the back of the um, book page, and so you've got another pocket here. And I've just done a little fabric with a vintage uh, button collage there, and that flips out. I love that typewriter font. Here's just another little flip spot. And you've got lots of roses there. Another little pocket from the um, paper bag. And then this is just a tiny envelope. Um, here is a pocket. Uh, now this is Tsunami Rose. I know that. I uh, love that pocket. I use that a lot. That's, that's, I just love it. It's one of my favorites. And here's another of my collaged um, stitch tags. I love how these come out and they've got a really nice texture. Here, another little... Um, Tuck spot for you. Roses. I love the colors in that. And then that's the avocado paper in the back of that. Here I've got an old, old um, book pages. I I think these have got about four layers because they are fragile. And so I stitched them and then uh, built a pocket. Did some collaging here with the little girl. And she, and then this, I've glued it completely down because, like I said, the papers are a little bit frail. So, And then I've just included some various um, journaling cards and tags that I've hand-stamped. And hopefully um, they'll have a use for. And then this is the very back of the, the um, journal. And here I've just made a little book page envelope tuck that in so that could be moved and used wherever and just a tiny um, journal card so there it is um, I really enjoyed it I'm looking forward to um, hopefully participating in in more swaps in the future I just um, wanted to get start getting involved because um, I'm I just see so many ladies out there that 
that I'd love to have a journal from and hopefully you know this will be a way that I can can get to know a few more people within the group and um, you know share some of my things and uh, so anyways guys that's it for today um, I'm working on as you know numerous journals I'll show you very quickly um, a couple of them These are um, a couple of covers I've, I've posted on Instagram, but that's all I've got done is the covers, and obviously these aren't even complete, um, because I will be doing some collaging on these, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is some fabric I re recently purchased, and I love it, it's, so obviously these are going to be nature-themed um, journals, but aren't the colors so soothing, I love that sage green, and then... Um, but I've got to, you know, I've got to do some collaging on here and then start working on the inside. But that's two. And then I've got um, another journal that um, when I've completed it, I'll share with you guys. I don't want to, to share it right now because it's, it's going out to somebody really special. And uh, I'm not ready to show that one yet. So um, that's just a few that I've got in the works. Um, still got piles of them that I've started the process on and <clears throat> I guess I could show you because I, I don't think I've done <clears throat> any of these. I If you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen all these but I'll show you on here. Um, this is one that I'm working on but it's total contrast to the colors I generally would lean towards. So this one's probably going on the back burner for a while. Although I love how it's come out. <clears throat> I'm not too too sure um, that I'm going to have much in my stash that's going to uh, work with this. So, you know, if you guys have got any suggestions on some kits that you've seen that you could recommend, my thinking is something kind of medieval <clears throat> for the bold colors. But if you got any suggestions, do share. Um, so that's one. Um, I've got this one. These are old Tim Holtz fabrics, as you probably recognize. But this one I love. I'm not sure I'm going to want to part with that one. <laughs> There's so many that I'm working on that I'm thinking, oh, do I have room to keep another journal? But um, love this. So I will make myself one um, for sure. But this is another one uh, that's going to be kind of nature themed, obviously. Um, this is another one. Love these bright colors. Um, thinking at tea. Tea time theme is what I'm thinking on that one, but you guys know I, I could change that at any point in time. So that's another one that's in the works. And then here's another um, Tim Holtz covered. Um, this one I think I'm just going to, not necessarily na uh, nature, I think this will just be um, vintage. Uh, and I think I'll work mostly with old advertisements and images like that because uh, I do get tired of doing any one theme. So that's my thinking on that one. And then just one more to share with you guys. And this one I, I'm further along with this one than any of them. And I do love this paper. This is a, an airmail um, theme. So that's, it's all Tim Holtz paper, uh, fabrics on here. And um, these are, you know, my handmade tomes. <clears throat> that confuses some people. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice today. But these are all, they're not altered books. I, I create these from uh, raw material. So, and they're hard boards. So, um, but yeah, this one I'm a little bit further along. I've at least got <clears throat> some of the signatures kind of forming, but it's gone on the back burner as well because I've, I have had a couple of things that have taken priority um, lately because I've had a couple of design team projects that had time restraints. So, um, and then this, I wanted to get this done, posted. Um, you know, on on the swap so that um, 
that they would know I have completed this with this being my first one. I'm sure it's quite a worry on who's going to follow through with these things. But So guys, that's I guess that's really all there is to share today. I am still hoping to get some tutorials up. I'm really sorry. I know I've been promising to be more um, regular with that, but I've just had a lot going on. So bear with me, but I, I am planning to get back to some of those because those are fun. But you guys take care, and I will see you, I'm sure, very soon again. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.